From a regulatory perspective, if there was um, a major issue affecting our citizens just from transparency purposes, we would be the first to let citizens know if they needed to be boiling their water, if they were in any danger in any way. I mean, we would never place our residents in Columbia and the greater Columbia area in danger. I mean, that's our jobs. We take it quite seriously. My name is Clint Sheely. As Ms. Wilson said, I'm Assistant City Manager for Columbia Water. Um, we've had a lot of concerns on social media and, and a lot of rumors swirling around that um, our water supply is threatened and that we're going to turn the water off or we're going to have to boil our water. None of that is true. It couldn't be further from the truth. Um, I was just out on the canal looking at the river. The river levels are very, very high. They're approaching the levels that we saw in 2015, but this event is very different than what we saw in 2015, and we're in a very different place than we were in 2015 in terms of preparedness. I want to say thank you for everybody being here. Thank you for our partnerships here. We thought it was very important to share this information with everyone. Over the last several days, I've been able to be in every part of this city, talking to residents, talking to our elected officials, school board members, everybody, making sure that we're sharing the information and we know what's happening. We know trees are down everywhere from Hendrick Street in North Columbia to Kilburn Drive to Claremont out in Delverton, a lot of places have been hit across the city. This is a, a widespread storm and we're gonna to continue to work together to make sure that we get power, all your utilities, and the city cleaned up to be back to be in the capital city and that's our commitment.